For the sixth day running, Kiev has been under siege and the destruction that has taken place overnight in the capital city of Ukraine suggests that the biggest attack on the city is probably imminent just now, Akshita. That's right. From early this morning, Shiv, we've been getting in Im images and videos of massive explosions, Rocky Cave, air raids that have been reported. And this isn't just limited to the capital city. Things have been progressing from bad to worse also in several other parts of Ukraine, like in Kharkiv, where there's been widespread destruction, devastation that's been reported. Another town where we've got some very, very telling and horrifying images is that of Chernihiv. So Russia slowly but surely shift, progressing forward. Many more cities where you're seeing Russian troop presence now. Now, India Today is the only channel that is in all of the cities cities that we've just named from Kyiv to Kharkiv to Chernihiv to Donetsk as well as Mariupol. Ukraine has gotten a massive shot in the arm for fighting the Russian uh, attack at this point of time. Apart from this miles-long convoy that we've seen outside the city of Kiev, we've seen the NATO weapons being pumped in. There is also a lot of Russian-inspired cyber warfare. After multiple Trojan attacks, by Russian hackers to cripple its communication network. Help has arrived on the ground in the form of billionaire Elon Musk's Starlink broadband services. Elon Musk, one of the most powerful businessmen in the world, has just acknowledged the arrival of Starlink internet terminals in Ukraine. Just a few days ago, Akshita, yes. Elon Musk had been petitioned on Twitter by a Ukrainian minister saying, that you've, you're sending rockets to Mars, but rockets are landing on us here in Ukraine. Our communications are going to be compromised. Please give us Starlink internet, you know, which is disruption proof. And th that picture on your right shows that those Elon Musk has kept his promise and he has sent those terminals to Ukraine. He's acknowledged it on Twitter. He replied almost less than 12 hours after the minister had appealed publicly on social media. And now following up on that promise, he sent across the stalling gear to Ukraine, confirmed by a minister with a picture also that is put out on social media. This is a huge shot of the arm as you've pointed out for Ukraine, essentially because it helps to keep Ukraine running. We know how dependent we all are on the internet and this kind of gear reaching Ukraine will help them amid a slew of attacks by Russia. The cyber war is very much real here, Shiv, something that we've been talking about so much on India today. Uh, and in this kind of a context, the fact that Elon Musk has stepped in and provided the help to Ukraine speaks volumes also of where he stands on all of this. Uh, he's made his stand very clear. He's been engaging with Ukrainian government officials. He's been re replying to them on Twitter. Also gives you a sense of the urgency and importance of data connectivity and mobile connectivity at a time like this. There is a huge amount of misinformation, a a lot of disinformation and the imperative for Ukraine to be able to tell its own story at a time when Russia is attempting to dominate uh, the communications at this point of time. Maria Paisarenko, who is our reporter uh, in uh, Kiev, joins us live. Uh, Maria, day six, my first question to you now is, uh, you know, is on Elon Musk's Starlink satellite internet systems that have just arrived in Ukraine. It's incredible. One of the, the world's most powerful and influential American businessmen has just acknowledged on Twitter that these internet services have been activated in Ukraine right now and therefore your country has been kind of disruption proofed against possible communication blackouts. Yeah, right. I have to say that um, for these uh, latest five days and today is the sixth day, there, um, there had been no problems with the internet, with the communications, yeah. starting from, uh, you know, uh, satellite to the one, mobile ones, and finishing with internet and even um, electricity, water supply, all that stuff are still running, um, at least in the places which were not hit uh, by Russian missiles or rockets. So the communications uh, are all good now, and the start uh, technology with uh, which was shared with Ukraine by Elon Musk is like um, not only you know as you've said a proof uh, um, an attempt to make Ukraine uh, attack proof in terms of communications but also a huge sign um, a huge move uh, which shows that Ukraine uh, stands uh, in this war as the, the part which defends uh, its territory and uh, this justifies our war as, a, as, a, as an attempt you know to repel the aggression so 
we are not attacking, we are defending. And all the Western community, Western businesses, even such sure. big businesses as Elon Musk's one, uh, really recognize the fact that Ukraine is struggling for its independence, not claiming, you know, um, territory of any other country. And uh, so far we had seen, yes, uh, late at night, these pictures of a truck carrying some equipment for Starlink uh, internet, which was right. shared by our Ministry of uh, Digital Transformation, Mikhailo Fedorov, and then retweeted by Elon Musk. And so far, uh, there were yet no updates about how the launching of Starlink internet uh, is is doing. But we hope it's only uh, like six in the morning, so um, okay. everything is yet yet to be seen for us. Yeah.